What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. So we're going to dive in and see what's going on uh, with Scorpios at this time, y'all. Sorry for the later upload. I need to take my Mucinex because, honey, where my bottle of water? Because, bye bye. <laughs> We getting there. It's getting knocked out. I feel so much better. I sound so much better. But these, these big ass horse mucinex videos, oh my God. <laughs> Miracle. Hold on, y'all. Okay, sorry, y'all. <laughs> right, let's see. What's going on in the energy? I'll tell you what, let's pull out some other cards. Let's uh wish Tara with real quick. Let's see what's going on. I was looking for my remote. If y'all hear that noise in the background, my key is in the living room. And there is Mickey Mouse playing in the background, but I can't find my remote. What's going on with Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio, please, Spirit? What's going on with Scorpio? Whoa. All right, so, ooh, we have Power Witches at, okay, coming out. And then we also have Moon Cycle. So something about the cycles of the moon could be of significance and familiar with Guardians. So you're protected at this time as well. Okay, one second, y'all. Okay, so what I wanted to do was grab the book because I feel like it, it dives a little deeper. So, this witch's hat is about knowing, like, your power, your strength, right? It says, declaring yourself a witch isn't about dressing up and just looking the part. It runs much deeper than that. A true witch understands where their strengths lie and uses them accordingly and wisely, right? So some people get offended about that energy, but it's about pulling back your power. Um, you have all that it takes to walk the ancient path of the old ways, and yet you allow others to disempower you. You tend to give in when your words and beliefs are mocked. Past memories of persecution are linked to your fears, which cause your light to fade and hide in the shadows. Time to stamp your foot in defiance to anything past or present that is stopping you from growing into the wise one you truly are. By standing strong, you are in a state of declaring to the world that you are the wisdom keeper others are waiting to turn to. Now you can wear your witch's hat and stand in your full strength as you step into your optimum power, never to be given away again. So it's deeper than just like <clears throat> realizing your power, right? It's deeper than just being like, oh, I'm a witch. Oh, or, and most people don't like saying that. Or like, oh, I'm a healer, you know, blah, 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 blah. This is about really honing in, like all of calling all your power back, knowing your worth, knowing your value. Like, you know you the shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what this card is about. And spirit is telling you, this is coming up as of significance for you right now. Because why? Why is this coming up? with this witch's hat power energy for Scorpio. Why is this witch's hat power card coming up for Scorpio? <clears throat> it could have to do with money. Three of Pentacles. Your money, your finances, because you got the King of Pentacles energy here. This could have to do with some sort, or this could have to do with the masculine. Maybe you're needing to call your power back from this person with this King of Pentacles energy and let them know that you won't just stand for anything. Some of y'all... This is you, you know, maybe you've been dealing with somebody that's more preoccupied with their money, more preoccupied with their security, things like that, right? Um, <clears throat> and they just kind of, you know, y'all supposed to be working together, teaming together, you know, look, the magician and the three of pentacles. Maybe you've been manifesting, working with them, trying to build with them, create with them, blah, 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 right? But this person could be so preoccupied with work and other things and not willing to take a risk on you that it's making you feel less than. It's making you feel not noticed. Like, like they're all caught up in this. Like, y'all could be married to this person or y'all could be in a relationship with her, with this person or y'all, like, y'all want to, like, collaborate. You know, it's supposed to be a teamwork type of thing. Like, if you're married to this person, y'all supposed to be working together. But this person is so focused on whatever they focus on, they not even giving you no attention. And so <clears throat> you're kind of like, what the hell? What's going on here, right? Now, if this is you and you're looking to be secure, right? Because you could be a masculine energy. You, they consider you a warlock or whatever, okay? Um, 
if that's the word that you want to use. Or, you know, most people just call yourselves like manifestors, but really, you know, really it's like a which is energy is someone who knows their power. You're honing that power and you're manifesting, creating the life that you want. And which which the which word is not a bad word, but you know, that's how it's been made out to believe. But anyway, um if this is you and you're this masculine energy. You could be trying to focus on your stability and your value and like, you know, bettering yourself, you know, um, not wanting to do anything reckless because you're trying to build your finances and stuff like that. So you could be really focused on that money and spirit is telling you that you can have that. The magician with the three of pentacles, you may even need to work or collaborate with somebody. Hold on, y'all. My nose is running. Hold on. Sorry. Y'all. Sorry about that. But that could be what's going on here, Right. Seven of Cups, Queen of Cups. And like, maybe somebody has a lot going on with the Seven of Cups, right? Or you could be thinking like this person is talking to somebody else or like interested in somebody else or they got their options open. But really this person could be, I mean, they really could be focused on their money is what they could be doing. But, um, you know, maybe now you, you got too much, you got too much headspace to be trying to figure out like, well, if this person isn't giving me attention, then what are they doing? Where are they at? What they got going on? You know, like, who they talking to? I don't know. Because <laughs> you're, like, in this nurturing Queen of Cups energy. Like, you want to nurture this person. You want to love on this person. And this person's over there, like, with their head down, focus on their money. Right? Now, others of you, this is you having, like, multiple choices, multiple opportunities to work on finances and your career and stuff like that. And um, maybe you're trying to figure out where to go, what to do. Is Spirit is saying that you have the power to create this. Like you do, you have all the possibilities and capabilities to nurture whatever option you want. You know, pick one, go for it type of energy. Right? Whatever one your intuition is telling you to uh, nurture. Some of y'all want like multiple streams of income and Spirit is telling you to put the work, you know, you can put the work in. You have the power and the creativity to make it happen. You just got to be willing to put in the work or make a choice, you know. And even with this King of Pentacles, it says not a risk taker, right? But the reason why you're not a risk taker because you're like, well, I'm kind of like stable where I'm at, you know. And you could be delusional too, like a little bit, like, you know, kind of like, what's the head in the clouds? Like, say you're a married person, like, you may, your head may be so far in the clouds that you're not thinking, or this is your person, you're not thinking like, oh, no, they don't really miss me, you know, I'm not giving them enough time, but, but, but you may be so caught up with your work and finances and stuff like that, that you forget to tend to your person. That could be what's going on. And then you're thinking to yourself, like, oh, they're fine, but really, they over there, like, well, who is, who is Scorpio talking to, or who is, who is Crosswatcher talking to, you know, whatever. Uh, what switches at with the power? Somebody feel left out. <laughs> like just homeless, conflict, illness, and promise. And this is somebody who's like wanting attention, needing attention, but they just feel left out. There could even be like a a fight or an argument. Because somebody just feels like They're not getting the attention they need. Like somebody, like this is like somebody saying, like, yeah, I promise I'll come spend time with you, or yeah, I promise I'll take you out, or yeah, I promise I'll do this, I'll do that, right? But it's like it's not happening. It's like somebody's fighting to to get attention, stability, harmony, and acceptance. Like being accepted, being seen. Somebody feels casted away, and it has a lot to do with somebody being more <coughs> preoccupied with work and their finances. And so somebody feels like, oh, my gosh, like, hello, I'm here. Like, you, like this is somebody literally could be standing there butt-ass naked, and their person is so caught up in work or finances or something that they're not even paying attention to this person or they're not even paying attention to you. Now, others of you, this could be a situation 
Because the King of Pentacles is a married person. Somebody could be married. And they don't want to leave that security in order to take a risk with you. Or you don't want to take a risk with them, whichever. Okay. Even though they made some sort of promise or they said that they were going to do this or whatever, whatever. They may not be wanting to take that risk. And so the Spirit is saying you need to pull back your power. Because that's the reason why you're feeling left out. That's the reason why you're feeling outcasted. Even if you try to fight with them or or like it's it's like they don't they don't want the arguments, they don't want the fighting. They they just don't want to deal with it. Like they feel like this is somebody settling. Child. This is a very stubborn energy, too. We got stubborn, robbery, and stop. Yeah, it's like somebody just, it, it's like, somebody's like, no, I'm good. I'm good. Like, this is, uh, somebody's stubborn. Like, somebody is not moving. Somebody's not willing to move and willing to shift. Somebody feels like it, that there's a lot of unfairness here. There could be a lot of stagnation going on. Or somebody's just like, I need to, I need to, I need to break away from this. Because this is making me feel powerless. What the fuck am I reading? Child. The threes are crowd. I mean, there could be. Like, this is like being at work and, like, y'all are all supposed to be working as a team, right? But they keep leaving you out and you keep trying to tell them, like, hey, what about this idea? Hey, what about this idea? And it's like every time you try to, like, voice your opinion or something like that, it becomes, like, some sort of conflict or, like, indifference or... Uh... <clears throat> it's like you're trying to avoid getting agitated or causing an argument because you're like, oh, my gosh, like, what the fuck? But, like, it's making you feel weak. It's making you feel fragile. Like, you're not able to stand in your power the way that you want to with this person. Or, I don't know. What's the power? Somebody's not giving you the assurance that you need. Like, the, 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 like, hey, yes, I want to be with you. Hey, yes, I care about you. It, because they so focus on money. What's the power of the king of Pentacles? Child. Passion, chemistry, passion. Maybe you even like, baby, come, come show me some love. Show me attention. Give me some sex or something. Somebody's not doing none of that. Courting man, uniform, professional male. Like, take me out. Take me on a date. You're growing cold. You're growing cold. And we have ice cream, divorcee, mother discernment, mature woman, socialite connector, high society, fun times, parties, events, having fun, and travel. Some of y'all about to start going out on your own. Like, I see you turning your back. Some of y'all about to divorce somebody. <laughs> and you're about to, like, go out on this mature energy and just, like, start meeting people, connecting with other people. We got the fun times here. Yeah, like, you about to, some of y'all about to start traveling going out partying or like just going out having a good time just doing stuff that you like to have fun doing union short term because you realize that this ain't lasting this ain't lasting you feel like it was a short term thing you ready for it to end you ready for it to come to an end you don't want to do it anymore is the chemistry there? Yes. Is the passionate feeling there? Yes. But you feel like you feel left out. Like, like you feel this homeless car with this donate. It's like you're literally having to like beg this person. Like, can I? You know, like, can can you spare a dollar? Can you spare a breadcrumb? Right. And it's like it may even cause some sort of conflict just because you keep asking. It's I don't, I don't know. It's like. What's the witch's hat? I just seen incarcerated. What's the witch's hat? 
nightmares, insomnia, paranoia, paranoia, anxiety, unable to sleep, see things. Under, you may not be sleeping, or this person ain't sleeping. I don't know. Cloud hunger says anything, does anything, makes shit up and dramatic. This person may not be sleeping, or maybe have a problem sleeping as well, or they're just tired. Maybe they're not sleeping and they just tired all the time, right? Or like you feel like this person makes up a lot of bullshit, like makes up excuses of why. They can't spend time with you or screenshots getting evidence, proof of facts. It's like somebody's paranoid about love on the brain, dreaming, fantasizing, daydreaming, nostalgic. And then you got impersonator. Wants to be you, acts like, dresses like, looks like, copies you. Now, for some of y'all, if this person in another connection or married or something like that, this person's afraid that their person is going to see y'all's communication and so they try to like avoid the situation oh my god this person could be like making up all kind of excuses like oh no I, i'm working or no i'm tired or no I got this going on or no, I got somebody's making up a lot of excuses. You may even have like screenshots of like, look, see, this is spirit of saying, pull back your power, pull back your power. Yeah. Played out. Cause you tired. you tired of the excuses. You tired of the, Oh, I'm tired or, Oh, I'm working or, Oh, I, I got this going on or, Oh, I got that going on. Like you tired, honey. Why is the impersonator here? Cause Confused in reverse. You you not confused about this person no more. Moving on, thank you, next. You're not confused about this person no more. Why the impersonator though? Like did they pretend to be your person or pretend to act in cold family issues? Or pretend to <clears throat> act like they were Concerned like you or interested like you. And you just like, I'm not confused no more, honey. You putting on the show. You fake. Some of y'all feel like this person fake. Or they're a fraud. Okay, now the other card is the, the moon cycles, child. Moon cycles. It says. I, had, I looked it up, y'all. Okay, it says. After an arduous journey, moon appears to indicate that you are coming to the end of a phase. Cycles begin and end and begin again, but in new form. Patterns repeat until the lessons have been fully understood and learned. As you step into this new phase, be expectant and full of anticipation, for you will not wish to go over old ground again. New opportunities await, so be vigilant. Outcomes lie in your hands. Call down the moon as she embraces you in her soft, luminous glow. Bathe under the pure feminine and restorative energy she immerses you with. Recharge your working crystals under her full presence and go sky clad in honor of the triple goddess who watches over you as the moon rules your emotions. Never forget that she also lives within you as you work in conjunction with her phases, honoring at all times your new, full, and dark aspects of maiden, mother, and crone. So, moon cycles. So, you're realizing... You may have started realizing like phases that you're going through or, or cycles that you're going through, right? And so something's coming to an end. So what's coming to an end? What's filtering out? Ooh, the high priest of night sword. Somebody secretly rushing in. The inner knowing of somebody trying to secretly rush in towards you or Take an opportunity towards you or what's at the bottom? The Ace of Cups. The truth. Realizing the truth, how this person rushes in. It's like with this Knight of Swords, this is that energy of like somebody getting what they want, right? They come in real fast, they get what they want, and then they they bolt. Right? They do something in haste. So it's like maybe you've been going through a situation where you've been trying to like Every cycle, like you're getting ready to close it out, you're dealing with this, it's like, yo, hey, give me some attention, give me some love, they leave you out, boo, 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 you end it, and then they come rushing back in, and then the phase starts over again. 
is you're starting to see it with the high priestess, the inner knowing. <clears throat> that's listening to your intuition. That's the inner knowing. That's the, the mystery card. Like, oh, what's going on? What's really going on? And then you see this person rush in, right? This is discovering your truth and you're seeing it for what it truly is. And again, you're being protected here. Something about a black cat could be significant. Or a frog. So me, I got a frog. So what's the cycles for Scorpio? Money. It has to do with money. Wealth, luck, and finances. So something could be connected to your money as well. Like you go through a cycle where like you're focused on this person, you're, you're trying to deal with this person, you get off track and you realize that you get distracted from your money, your finances, your stability because you're so focused on trying to please this person or you got true love, pure love, honest connection or whatever, right? Or you're starting to realize like this person's true love is money. It can be very materialistic. Some of y'all are realizing that people only come around because of the money that you make or the opportunities. Like, like when they're connected to you, they tend to get lucky off of your energy. Like things start happening for them. Like this would be the type of person like something about your money is significant. We have open relationship, no commitment, casual and openness, and then past love. In the past and past lover, right? You may start to realize a cycle when it comes to your past lovers. How they keep you in these open relationships. How nothing really goes anywhere. Like how your focus always has to go back to money. Or like you find yourself. You find yourself. Communication, texting, phone calls online. Yeah, it's like you find yourself like somebody or, or, or like this money energy could be like somebody since they're materialistic, they come in and they gift you with something. Give me another one. Like that rush in with some money or something to try to like make things better. What's the most cycles? Brunette female, darker hair, intense focus. Or like when your shift, when your your energy shifts to your money. And you stop giving this person attention, then all of a sudden they become back focused on you. Young female, youthful music, fashion. Yeah, once you start like pouring into yourself, focusing on yourself, you're feeling young again, free again. You know, you start dressing up, getting back out there. Then this person wants to like rush in and get you back in this fucking cycle. Look, freedom, casual, being single, and lightness. Once you start taking it like, okay, well, I'm free. You know, I'm about to be single. I'm just going to take it casual, which again, that's how they treat you, right? You start taking back control, right, of your life. But see, they want to like come in and sex you down again just to get you wrapped back up in this toxic karmic cycle, right? But it's only because they know once you disconnect, you're on to a new opportunity. It's like they're not focused on you. Now, for some of y'all, there could be another feminine involved but i feel like this is you so let's see what's the cycles about for scorpio family what's the cycles about for scorpio loss yeah what's the cycles for scorpio go what's the cycles for scorpio and gift. What I fucking, what did I just say? And marriage. It's like this person, they come back in, right? They make you feel left out. For some of y'all, this person, they could put like their family first or like, th like they could have another family in the background or kids in the background or something. Something about home. Like you may feel at home with this person or this, you feel like home to this person, Right, but this lost card is here. It's like you feel lost. You feel it's like you find yourself grieving. One second. Okay, but it's like you find yourself grieving, grieving for a family or like grieving for some sort of like home life or it's like you end up feeling damaged. Or like this person is like. 
they end up start missing the family life that they have with you or the bond that they have with you or something like that. And then they come back in with the goal and the gift to like come and, and offer you something. It's like the same cycle over again. Like some of y'all feel like y'all keep meeting people that come in like they're interested in you. They're they're all they're passionate about you. There's chemi good chemistry there, but then it's like they make you feel left out. Like they end up confusing you and then getting you all wrapped up and like they pretend that they want what you want, only for them to like not even put in the effort. Like they you just feel conflicted. You feel lackluster. You feel some of y'all know went into connections thinking like, oh, we're going to have happily ever after and nothing comes about it. Yeah, stress. Stress and marriage. What's this family card? What's the family card about? First stuff, y'all. What's the family card? Curse. Some of y'all may even feel like you cursed. Like is like is, is do I have like a cursed bloodline or something or like like am I not meant to be in a commitment or some of y'all feel like now for some of y'all there's a cycle where Somebody done created some sort of misfortune or catastrophe in a family dynamic, and there could be some hate there. Somebody's family could hate you or hate you hate their family or ooh child. Merit making a coach, yeah. What's the lost card for Scorpio? Marinette, because somebody was trying to dictate something or manipulate something. Eternal love instead of like letting love flow. Stubborn. And it has to do with somebody being stubborn and like they were being hesitant. They were creating confusion. They were creating worry. And so somebody's losing out on something or you feel like you losing out on something. But it's but somebody was like trying to control something here. And so now they've been being a lack energy. It's like somebody did have a go, and now they're trying to... Why are the gift? Withdrawal. Quit, awakening, reject. See? It's like when you... Some of y'all got kids with this person. But it's like a cycle where you got this inner knowing that this person don't want to be with you. They really focus on money, or they only come around when they need something, whether it's finances, whatever, right? They come rushing back in because they don't want you to move on, or they come rushing back in because they don't want to end out the cycle, Right? And it's like they get you back in this energy only for you to feel left out, like for this cycle to repeat itself. But it's it's all due to control. Like they want to be able to control the situation. They, they want to be able to dictate the situation. And it's because now you have a goal of ending it completely. You're like, no, I don't want to deal with this anymore. I'm done. This is not going anywhere, blah, 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 blah. But then all of a sudden they become back focused on you. And the reason they're becoming focused on you is because you're withdrawing. You're rejecting them. And now they want to come back in and gift you with something. <laughs> it was on the bottom. I just looked on my period. And this could be like pissing you off because it's like, what are you doing? You don't want me. You too busy. You always tired. You don't want shit to do with me. And now, oh my gosh, I don't want you to move on. No. Hey, I'm interested. It's like, what the fuck? This is somebody very impulsive. It's like they, one minute they don't know what they want, the next minute they, they want you. And it's like, what, what do you want? What do you want, child? Do you want me or not? Some of y'all feel like y'all got like a, a cursed bloodline or something. Like, like, what the fuck is going on here? What's the cycles? I don't love, respected, admired, idolize a fan. Yeah, it's like they they love you, they respect you, 
they admire you, they idolize you, or something about attention. Maybe you feel like that's all it is. They want attention from you. Look, romantic love affair, sex fix, secret lover, F buddy. Like, you feel like they just want attention from you. They don't really want nothing out of it. Some of y'all feel like y'all just a fuck buddy or you're a secret lover. What's going on? Giving money. What I tell you? Giving money. For some of y'all, this person does this for money. Or so you give to them. Dirt diggy look for dirt on you or vice versa. Like they are trying to they try to give you money to control the situation so you won't look too deep into something. Scarcity tactics only for them to like break from you again. Like let me draw them back in, let me pull them back in, give to them real quick so I can have control all over again, only so that I can break from them yet again. And you're showing up unfazed now. Like you're like, fuck it. Um, what's the unfazed? Force or forces things on you, force their way in, uses force to get what they want. This, yeah, crying over you, sad, hurt, upset, etc. This is somebody who don't want to give you what you deserve, but they also don't want you to move on from them to get what you deserve. Like they'll they'll pull all the stunts, like they'll cry, they'll be upset. It's like they don't really want you until they lose you. They may even, like, cyber bully you, talk shit about you, like, try to bully, bully you in some sort of way. It has something to do with either the abundance you attract, the money you attract, some sort of unexpected inheritance. Block. I see you block them. Or they feel like you bring them abundance in their life, but I see you, blo I see you blocking this person. Child, this shit is making my head hurt. Marrying for money. For some of y'all, this person's in another connection or they could be married to somebody for money or they're like codependent on somebody else or some shit. And you just don't got time. I don't know. Shine, your light irritates their demons. Yeah. <coughs> this is stupid. But yeah, you're being protected from this. Any advice for... Freaking Scorpio. Any advice for Scorpio for this reading? When you meet your soulmate, you'll feel calm. No anxiety, no agitation. Honey, I am agitated as hell with this reading. So apparently this is not your soulmate. Okay. I can imagine if I'm agitated, y'all agitated. This person may like agitate the fuck out of you, like cause your anxiety to spike up because you're like, do you want me or not? Are you with me or not? Like, blah, 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 whatever. Harmony is pure love for love is complete agreement. I don't think y'all are agreeing on anything here. Release your worries and receive universal abundance. So I feel like you're releasing this because you realize this isn't an agreement here. Like this is manipulation. This is manipulation. I'm going to outcast you, leave you out, make you feel like this, blah, 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 blah. Cause you to be irritated. Cause you to want to argue with me. Cause you to want to fight with me, right? Then I'm going to like, now that you're discovering what's really happening, you're no longer confused. And I'm going to rush back in and be very impulsive because I really want you so that I can manipulate you, but I really don't want to be with you. I just like the attention you give me or I like being seen with you type of energy, right? That's what I'm getting. So I'm going to leave it there. Scorpio, this is what I have for you. Hope it brings you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch you in the next video. Bye, y'all.